Good morning. I'm here sitting in my chair and uh, it's a bit of a gloomy day and I thought I would do uh, my Bible devotional from here. This is where I sit in the morning uh, to pray, read my Bible, uh, settle down, quieten myself before the day begins, give the day to God, reflect and give thanks for the previous day. I don't know whether you've got a place uh, that you go to, a special location some of our flats don't allow us to have a special location but even if it is just a chair in the corner of the living room uh, it's useful to have somewhere where we go where we know this is now the place this is now the time when i'm going to dedicate it to god to to praying so i recommend that to you if if you can uh some kind of routine is important as well um if you can have a set time, uh, then it's easier to to not forget it. Uh, if you don't have a set routine, you may need to create one. Um, but it's important. Priorities are important. And I want to share with you a verse from Timothy today. Uh, as you know, I'm just sharing what's ever, whatever's in my daily readings. There's no other plan than this. I'm just sharing with you what is highlighted to me. You can just see the, the wind blowing in the trees outside. It uh, doesn't look too nice. I may go out for a walk later on, but uh, right now I just want to stay inside with my, with my cup of tea. And you, sharing together from God's Word. <clears throat> so 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 17. So 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 17. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. There's an old hymn, isn't there? Immortal, invisible, God only wise. And we need this vision of God in his transcendent glory. Sometimes it's good to feel God close to us. Uh, sometimes it's good to feel that intimate connection. Sometimes it's good to pray to God for our concerns as well. And he encourages us to do that. But at the same time, we need a vision of him in his grandeur and in his greatness. And these words here just give us a vision, a picture of God, who he is. And I just want to read it to you again. Now to the King eternal. God is eternal. He is everlasting. He has never not existed. Immortal. Does not die. Invisible. <clears throat> this is a tricky one because <clears throat> one of the problems we have is that God is invisible and therefore we find it difficult to feel him close to us. But he is invisible. He is a spirit, the Bible tells us. I'm not talking just about God, the Holy Spirit, but God as such is spirit. Jesus was <clears throat> incarnate on the earth <clears throat> for 33 years, son of God, taking on flesh, living among us for 33 years. But because he ascended and he's now in glory, he's not physically present on the earth. We do not see him in the same way. God is invisible. That's that means it's a necessary act of faith to trust in him. The only God. The only God there is. Uh, it's often wondered whether people from other faiths believe in the same God. Well, there is only one God. <clears throat> and so it seems to me that they probably do believe in God. But maybe they have inaccurate or unrealistic or untrue ideas or images of God there is only one God and we need to affirm that uh, not only that there there are other false gods with a small g idols which we may have anything which functions in my life as the absolute priority can become God for me everybody has some kind of faith in something they may be atheists they may not have any um, 
real religious practice or belong to any religious tradition, but everybody has something that they worship, uh, something that is for them an ultimate concern, something that for them dictates how they live their life, and that can become a God for them. I think Calvin, uh, John Calvin, said that the human heart is an idol factory. It manufactures idols. We create them. Whatever takes first place in our life can become an idol, a false god. So to this God, he says, be honour and glory and forever and ever. Amen. Honour and glory belong to God. We need to live lives that are giving honour to him, and glory to him. That doesn't necessarily mean in any uh, overt religious way, but just by doing our jobs well, by representing God well by loving people we are giving honor and glory to god so i encourage you today let's focus on him so that whatever we're doing we're giving him honor and glory let's get our priorities in the right order let's center ourselves on him today it's so easy to become distracted and of course, we have to live in the real world and there are things that we need to do. But let's fill our minds and our spirits with this image of who God is in all his transcendent glory and splendor in heaven, seated on a throne. I'll read it again and then I'll pray. Now to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. You are the only God. Forgive us for when we put other things in your place, when other things take priority in our lives over you. Help us to give you the honour and glory that is due to you. Give us a fresh revelation, a fresh understanding of who you are and what you are like increase our capacity to receive you increase our ability to understand you we know that we can never understand you completely but we praise you and we ask you to help us to understand you more thank you god set our priorities today on you lord god help us to do that so that lord we're not distracted from you but we find you in the middle of our activities. Thank you. Amen. Well, again, thanks for joining me. Um, it's great to be able to share these uh, verses with you each day. Uh, God is with you always. Remember that. This transcendent God, this God who is uh, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, he is with you all the time. Paul says in Acts that in him we live and move and have our being. As you go through today, just like you walk through the air, you're walking through God. God is with you all the time. So God bless you. God be with you. And remember, he is always with you. Amen.